wouldn't be pleased to be in my spot today, <laughs> uh, getting to welcome uh, amazing people to an amazing and significant event. Uh, Few Ago South, which is the prequel to the Mad Max trilogy, will be filmed right here in New South Wales. It's the largest film ever to be filmed here. And I'm so pleased to be here with our producers, the outstanding George Miller, also Doug Mitchell, and of course, our very own Chris Hemsworth, who will be featuring in the prequel. And the three gentlemen will have a bit of a say to you today about what this means for their industry. But for us personally in New South Wales, it means 850 local jobs, at least 350 million into the local economy. But most importantly, it reinforces New South Wales as not only the economic capital of Australia, but I believe the cultural capital of Australia. Uh, we've had a rough time uh, all around the world, but as we're emerging from the most difficult times of COVID, we are seeing a resurgence of interest in our state. And I can't thank um, the three gentlemen enough about their efforts in, in that regard. And, and Chris, who's made Australia his home, is a global superstar and works here in New South Wales. And I couldn't feel prouder about him and his generation of actors that are really continuing to put Australia on the map. I also especially want to welcome Paul Fletcher, the Federal Minister, who has contributed also to uh, uh, the dollars and the support uh, to the industry here in New South Wales. And of course, from New South Wales, our Treasurer, Don Perrottet, and our Arts Minister, Don Harwin, who secured the deal and made sure uh, that this is where this wonderful prequel is being filmed. Uh, but what you have today is showcasing Australian talent at its best, but also governments who recognise the importance of the film industry and the arts more broadly to our nation and to New South Wales. And uh, I just want to send a message out to everybody that uh, our government is incredibly proud of the talent we have. We want to harness it here in New South Wales. We're using it to create jobs, uh, to build up the industry and to make sure that uh, Sydney, New South Wales and Australia uh, are cultural icons, uh, not just good in other things. And um, I'll now ask uh, Minister Fletcher to say a few words and then uh, George, uh, Doug and Chris will say a few words and then we'll take your questions on this matter. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Premier Berejiklian. It's great to be here with you. Of course, great to be here with George Miller, Doug Mitchell and Chris Hemsworth, uh, three very major figures in the global film industry and, of course, with Treasurer Don Perito of New South Wales and uh, my friend and fellow Arts Minister Don Harwin, New South Wales Arts Minister. Well, Australia is really experiencing a boom in film at the moment. We're experiencing a boom. And that reflects a lot of factors, including, of course, that we seem to have managed COVID well. Certainly, the Morrison government has been strongly backing the film sector. And we're attracting, attracting global productions, including with our location incentive, $540 million over several years and over 22 productions attracted. But what's very important is that we're supporting global productions, both coming from overseas, but also global productions reflecting Australian direction and creative control. And there is no more iconic Australian movie franchise than Mad Max. And it really does reflect the extraordinary work of George Miller and all that he's worked with over 40 years. So this is a very significant moment. Just recently, the Morrison government recommitted that the producer offset stands at 40%. I know that's been a significant factor in Furiosa being able to commit to proceed. We're very pleased to be working with the New South Wales government uh, and indeed with state and territory governments around the country. When you think about the economic recovery that we're going through following the uh, COVID pandemic, if you want to attract businesses that can employ hundreds of people and, of course, that 850 jobs on this project, uh, that can uh, generate lots of business for downstream Aussie businesses servicing them, uh, that are tens of millions of dollars or more in scale, and they can get started quickly, you're talking about the movie business. So it's great that we've got a movie boom in Australia, and it's particularly great that this extraordinary Australian movie franchise, globally known, is seeing its next instalment in Curiosity. 